everybody, Laura here. So glad you're joining me today. Looky, looky, looky. I got a rainbow project. Woo, woo. I've got the new Build a Rainbow die. This was from the Among the Stars release. Just came out by Simon Says Stamp. I'm loving it. Hello, me, rainbow, peanut butter, jelly. You know where I'm going. Okay, so I ran the die through with some Nina Solar White. I pulled out a bunch of the Simon Says Stamp hybrid mini ink cubes and I just went to town with my ink blur. I'm starting with Hollyhock. Now when I was doing this I thought I should have started with hot lips, a nice bright red, but I decided to go a little on the pink side. Actually I don't think correct me if my wrong if I'm wrong, but I don't think there's a hot lips hybrid mini cube. And that's probably the reason because I just pulled out my cubes and I went from there. So uh, as you can see, I started, you know, I always say when I do ink blending to tap, tap, tap off the excess, but I noticed because since I want it to be very, very, very dark on the edges of my rainbow, you really don't have to tap and be so careful. You can just dive right in because you know you're going to try to make those ends of the rainbow as dark as you can and get lighter up towards the center. At least that's what I was trying to do. You could do it. You could you could color these in so many ways. My brain was bursting with rainbow opportunities. Like I was thinking, mm, should I do with ziggy ziggy ziggies? Should I do with my Copics? Should I do colored cardstock? Here's another idea. I even thought do colored cardstock, but ink blend on the edges just to give it a little gradient look. So you know, even if you had. Uh, like an orange cardstock, if you blended a little orange on the end, it would make it a little darker and kind of just give it a little something, something. I always try to give a little gradient if I can. Okay, so the colors I'm using, I'm sure they'll all be listed, but I've got Hollyhock, Teeny Bikini, Sunkissed, Melon, Duckling, Jellybean, Spring Rain, and now I'm on to High Dive. I'm loving these fun names. This one here is Blue Jay. And then the final one is Ha Mama. Okay, as you can see in between each ink blending session, I cleaned off my surface. Always wanna start with a clean surface so your color doesn't transfer. Okay, moving on. Um, I took that negative rainbow leftover from my die cut and I traced it with a pencil onto a scrap piece of paper. Now I'm trimming it out very quickly, very loosely. Went over the whole surface with my Tombow tape runner. And this was like, to me, the best way, I thought a quick and easy way to adhere my rainbow all together. Um, I'm not sure if this is the best way, but in my little brain, this is the best way that, you know, it was the first and best idea I came up with. And, you know, I thought about glue, but then you know how glue oozes? You always have oozy glue. I don't know about you, but I do. Do you guys ever get halfway through and you're right in the heat of making a card and your fingers are getting so sticky from the glue and your tweezers are getting sticky from the glue? I tell you what, about melts my eyelashes right off. And I can't even lay down my sequins because my tweezers are so sticky. Yeah. Anyway, moving on. Okay, so I'm trimming my rainbow right in half. And now the width of the rainbow is five inches. FYI, so if you just trim it at two and a half, you know you're gonna get it perfectly centered or two perfectly even halves. Yes, okay, so I popped them up with some foam tape. Okay, so as you can see, this is a very clean and simple graphic card. Uh, sometimes when I'm making cards like this, I almost feel like, ooh, it's too simple. I need to do something more complex, but you know what? Most of the time, these end up being my most favorite cards of all, just because they're happy, they're cheerful. I love a lot of white space with pops of color. I love the sentiment. I think it works perfect for any person and any occasion that you might have. That's all for today. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time.